Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. What up? Welcome to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And today we are reacting to another pitch meeting. What one are we watching to, Nick? Watching to, Nick. <laughs> Isn't it? So. <laughs> We are checking out the next Twilight movie, The New Moon. Now, I'm excited for this pitch meeting, not just because it's a pitch meeting, but because, like I said in the last one, if you watched it, thank you so much for coming back to this video and for requesting this one. I had mentioned that New Moon was my favorite of the series. Mm -hmm, None did. of them are Oscar winning. None of them are even my top 1,000. But this one, <laughs> stop it. This one definitely is uh, my favorite of the four or five. Are there five now? Because the last one was a two-parter, right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't even know what the third one's called. Yeah. But uh, Eclipse? Mm -hmm. I do know. So, excited for this because of that That's reason. Yeah, and Ryan George is awesome. Movies. Oh, absolute fit. Listen, I watch a bunch of nonsense that I love. Like, I got a Willow poster right there. And everyone like I this show, movie right here? Dude, I love this. No one knows about this movie. The Buttercream Gang. I watch this all the time, and it gives me the emotions, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... Just look up Buttercream Gang. Didn't even go to the theaters. I had a second cousin. I was at their house when I was a kid. They played this movie. I found it years <laughs> later. I mean, I watched some obscure stuff. Not afraid to admit to it. This, stop it. Not even my top thousand. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. We're going to see where he throws in the super easy, barely an inconvenience. Yes. So yes. you can see it. Mm -hmm. If you like our reaction to this, check out our other reactions to Pitch Means and the Ryan George videos on his own channel. And if you really like, don't forget to like. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of our next uploaded videos. And then check out the buttercream game. <laughs> I, I I enjoy it. I'm sorry. And you must have just watched it recently since but it's right there. I don't know why it's right there, but oh. it's a master's. I've actually seen it twice, like the last month. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's a great thing to put on when I'm getting some work done. It's in the background. Mm -hmm. hey, who said you can start talking? Calm mm -hmm. down. All right. Here we schmeisel. So, you have a Twilight sequel for me? Yes, sir, <laughs> I do. This one's going to be called New Moon, and it's going to start with a shot of a moon. Oh, everything's making a ton of sense so far. Off to a good start. <laughs> yeah, so in this movie, Bella's going to start being scared about growing older while Edward stays the same age. All right, all right, all right. But then Edward's like, you know, Bella, technically I'm 109. Oh, right, yeah. And jokingly, she's like, well, maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man, you know? It's gross, so... No, that's going to be a funny little moment. <laughs> uh, that's absolutely correct, though. Anyway, then in class, they're going to be talking about <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, and Edward's going to be that's like, the, the only way though. for a vampire to kill himself is to go in front of this committee in Italy. Oh, I wonder if that completely unnatural thing to say is going to come into play later in the movie. It is, Ooh. actually. Oh, my God, what? <laughs> I'm a writer. Wow, I guess oh you kind of are. And so later, the Cullens are going to have a birthday party for Bella, and she's going to get a paper cut on some wrapping paper, so that just starts dripping blood. Not really how paper cuts usually play out. Well, this one's gonna freaking drip blood, so Jasper, he's just gonna go nuts. Uh-oh. Yeah, so you know, Edward has to step in and protect her. How does he do that? Well, he's gonna push Jasper away, but not before hurling Bella across the room into the wall and making oh. her bleed even more. Oh, wow, probably didn't need to shove her. That part seemed unnecessary. <laughs> you probably could have just done the Absolutely. pushing Jasper part, but he's gonna go ahead and injure Bella, too. <laughs> well, okay, then. So then Edward's gonna realize that it's too dangerous for them to be dating, you know? If he really wants to protect her, he has to break up with her. Oh, very sad. Yeah, so he brings her to this forest oh, where hikers keep sad. getting violently <laughs> killed and breaks up with her and leaves. He leaves her alone in the death forest so she'll be safe. That's right, yeah, and so she gets <laughs> lost and collapses and a shirtless guy picks her up. Wow, off to a terrible start in the I Gotta Protect Bella project. Yeah, so she's gonna be so sad she's basically gonna be comatose and expressionless. Mm -hmm. More than usual? More than usual, yeah, she's basically gonna <laughs> be in a sadness coma and sit in a chair for three months. I guess that'll be fun to watch. It might be, and so anyway, one day she realizes that when she does reckless things, she gets visions of Edward, so she decides she's gonna do that kind of thing from now on. Feels like maybe there are deeper mental issues going on there. Probably. So anyway, she's gonna start fixing up this old <laughs> motorcycle with Jacob, and he has muscles now, so he has value as a human being and can be a love interest. <laughs> oh, you know, he's worth something now. That's nice. Yeah, we're gonna have this little montage oh of them gosh. working on the bike oh together. Gosh. She orders a pizza and throws a slice at him, and we're gonna transition into him catching a tool. What? Why would we? Well, it's gonna be a cool transition. Right, but it involves her whipping a slice of pizza across the room. Who does that? I don't know, but it's gonna be 
be a cool transition. Well, okay then. <laughs> anyway, then she finally <laughs> takes her bike repeating. out and has like five visions of Edward and immediately <laughs> crashes and bashes her head on a rock. Oh, she's absolutely the worst. And then Jacob pops his shirt off to help, you know, like a normal person. Sure. And then he shows her all sure. his abs and rubs her open wound with a dirty, sweaty t-shirt. Very romantic and probably infected. Yeah, so they start getting closer and closer, but Jacob has a secret. <laughs> so oh, he does? Yeah, he's like, Bella, have you ever had a secret that you couldn't tell anyone? That's how all secrets work. It is, yeah. So what is it? Well, let's just say he spends a whole lot of time in the woods with very muscular shirtless dudes. Oh, I see exactly what's going on. Yeah, 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 he's a werewolf. Oh, he is. Okay, I was way off. Yeah, werewolves rarely wear <laughs> shirts. It's the werewolf way, because when they transform, you know, their clothing, it gets torn to shreds. Well, what about their pants? Well, sir, unless you want to talk about the technicalities of werewolf junk, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about pants. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. <laughs> anyway, so also that red-headed vampire Victoria from the first thing. movie is hovering around, and she wants to kill Bella because her boyfriend James was killed in the first movie. Oh, but right, yeah, okay. Actress. But Jacob and his werewolf buddies keep chasing her away, and she dives off a cliff to escape. Oh, werewolves can't jump off cliffs, huh? Actually, that's the one activity we've established that they love to do. Oh, so so why? I don't know, but anyway, at the exact same time, <laughs> Bella decides to jump off a cliff, too. What? Why would why would she? I don't know, but anyway, now she's in the water at the same time as Victoria, so, you know, it's pretty dangerous. Yeah, so wow, so what does she do? Well, she bashes her own head on a rock and passes out and has to be rescued. Oh, that is very on brand for her, but how come Victoria doesn't kill her while she's unconscious? I don't know. Fair enough. So anyway, then <laughs> Alice shows know. up because she had a vision of Bella jumping off a cliff like an idiot oh, and thought she so was bad. dead. Okay. And then Edward calls Bella's house, but Jacob picks up the phone. Well, who answers somebody else's phone? Characters that need to create misunderstandings to drive the plot forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, and because somebody died earlier in the movie, Jacob tells Edward that Bella's father is arranging a funeral. Then he hangs up the phone. Oh, so Edward thinks Bella is dead? He does, and now he wants to die too. Oh, it's like Romeo and Juliet, except... You know, just awful. What? So what does Edward do? <laughs> well, he goes to this what? vampire committee called the Volturi, and he's like, hey, please kill me. I'd like to die. And they're like, no. Oh, very mean of them. Or nice, I can't tell. Unclear. So now Edward has to find a way to make them kill him. Well, so what does he do? Well, his plan is to take off his clothes in a public place, because apparently if people see a sparkly shirtless dude, they'll assume he's a vampire. Oh, exposing yourself in front of a crowd is tight. Have you done that? <laughs> yep, my hearing is next week. I'm pleading non-guilty, but there is a ton of video evidence. Well, okay then. Anyway, so Bella managed just to get there in time and stop him. Wow, 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 wow. And he's like, you know, Bella, when I said I was leaving, you let me go, so you must not love me. Oh, that's a textbook manipulation and abuse tactic. Their relationship is very unhealthy, yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. now the Volturi have changed their mind and they do want to kill him. Uh-oh. Yeah, and they want to kill Bella too, because she knows too much. Man, gonna be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because as they're killing Edward, Bella's like, no, kill me instead. And, you know, that convinces them to let them all go. I thought they were gonna kill her too. Yeah, I don't know. Well, okay then. So then the color yeah, family, know. they all agree to turn Bella into a <laughs> right. vampire. Oh, know. very cool. And then we're gonna have this huge moment where Edward is like, okay, well, before we turn you into a vampire, you gotta do something for me. What? What is it? He's like, marry me. And then she gasps and we cut to black. Oh, yeah, we get out of there on that shocking reveal. You know, I feel like agreeing to transform her into <laughs> an immortal vampire is slightly bigger than a marriage proposal. Yeah, but this is like a cliffhanger. Is she gonna say yes? Well, she's already agreed to be a vampire with him forever. That's, that's not even a question. Well, we're gonna cut to black. So what do you think? Well, it sounds like something the fans are going to like a lot. And, you know, hopefully the actors like it just as much. Oh, for sure. <laughs> he roasted it in the comments. Hi, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. Hope oh you liked it. Oh my Don't know gosh, that is, that's hilarious. How do we not know he like roasted it in the commentary? Oh my gosh. Oh that's my nice. gosh, but I'm it's, literally crying here. It's so true. It is such a terrible relationship. <laughs> there, when I, I've watched probably half a dozen of these before we reacted to them. And every time I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's more plot holes in there than I thought there was. But I can't remember a time where there's so many, he goes through it so fast yes. and you want to laugh, you want to stop, you want to talk about, it, but there's another and then another and another and four or five times where I was like, yeah, I don't know, let's just keep going. <laughs> what, like, and this was my favorite one of the five. <laughs> Like, what in the world was I thinking? But what were the writers thinking? Like, do oh you think they gosh. ever thought about this? Or it was just about adapting and print, or adapting it from the book into a movie no. and just printing mo money for crying out loud? It's because that's how it is in the book. I mean, maybe oh not gosh. leaving the cliffhanger on. I can't remember. I'm sure they did actually leave the cliffhanger in the book on her saying yes to her. And throughout the whole book, she's like so against marriage, which again makes no sense. Like, how like, do these things get so popular and so viral? Well, it's like, no offense to anybody who's read Fifty Shades of Grey. I have not read it. 
Yeah, so I how did that get? So I'll say it right now. How that one? People have gone down saying it's one of the worst bo written yes. books of all time. I was like, I cannot personally say because I haven't read it, but I have heard that it is atrocious. Like you can tell that the author is not a writer. That like it was and made poorly billions written, of dollars probably off. But of it. yeah, it's just people like it and it becomes a hype and it becomes a thing and people read. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I want the Legend of Sturge Baraha to become a hype and become a thing. But um, this was absolutely insanely hilarious. You die when he's... And that's another one of the catchphrases. It's tight. Like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we love people who take their shirts off. I love it where he's like, they got to take their shirts off, so they're going to ruin their shirts, wear out their pants, get off my back with the pants. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, and the, the line that killed me was where he's like, we're going to have him take off his shirt because now he has value because he, he has, has muscles. muscles. Yeah. Yeah. How many people got pumped up and excited that he got muscles? Oh my gosh, I think I think more people liked him because of muscles, but I have to say, and don't judge me, but he looks much better without his shirt than um, Robert Pattinson. Sorry. Well, he has muscles. Robert Pattinson is like that that skinny mus muscle. He's like a ghost. He's uh, he's bulkier in Batman, though. And he's hairy. Okay, not a fan. So, <laughs> we know she's Team Jacob. I can care less about the team nonsense. Let us know either what team are you on if you're still into this stuff. But I did, I did want Regan want Bella to be with Edward. I will say, I want her to be with Edward. Of course you did. Because yeah. you're romantic at heart. Yeah. And that's how they started. Yeah. Jacob's just that, you know, fifth wheel. He's that thorn in the side for a time where she, like, she considers him for, like, what? Maybe 10 minutes of the entire series? She, he, right? Yeah, he to her. There was a small period of time. I want to say, like, in like a, they were at the movies or something like that, right? No, no, no. No, he's always liked her. She's always used him. Used him as but I thought to like, there was a time where because she, she even she went she kissed so, me right now. Yes, is what she I was says. gonna say, are you referring to that one? Yes. So right, like it, it's in, it's in this one or it the, might third be the third one? one. I think it's the third one. I think it's the third one when they're actually fighting like Victoria, like the whole um, werewolf gang is fighting Victoria, and that's when she says it. But I think like it's right before she's gonna turn into a vampire and marry yeah, um, Edward and stuff, and so I feel like. She just wanted a little bit of both worlds. I can't believe we're talking about Twilight right I now. I know, I'm sorry. This She's video, no, forever. you're fine. Always this forever. video is hilarious. Thank you so much for requesting this. Let us know if you want to check out the next one. That one I don't remember as well, but I do remember the movie. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Goodbye.